Tomorrow is D-Day for rescued Nigerian banks to meet the CBN capital adequacy requirements. Two of the proposed mergers have already been approved, whilst the FCMB and FinBank merger is still expected to be approved by shareholders as early as today. Competition will increase in the top-tier banking space as a result of the mergers. And joining us now is BC Onasanya, the CEO of First Bank Nigeria, to give us a little bit more of uh, an indication and some insights into how the competitive environment is going to change in the Nigerian banking space. BC, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Ellen. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, First Bank Nigeria is the largest bank by market share in the country. 15% is what you have at this point, and also by size in the country. Put it into perspective for us, it is the deadline is tomorrow. Um, a lot of unprecedented things have happened since 2008. How is this going to change the environments in the country? Now, let me start by commending the Central Bank of Nigeria for a job well done. With the deadline of tomorrow and the steps already being taken by the banks, I think the end of the crisis is over, and I'd like to commend Central Bank and the governor for a job well done. Now, as far as First Bank is uh, we are concerned, we believe that competition is very good. This consolidation on its own will strengthen the Nigerian banks, and we need strong banking institutions. Every economy needs strong banking institutions, and that's where First Bank comes in. Today, we are the strongest and the biggest bank in Nigeria, and we've done a lot to make sure that irrespective of the competition, which will increase naturally because of the stronger banks coming in, we are prepared to still defend our uh, territory. We've done a lot of things, and one of which is in the past six months, in readiness for the tougher competition, we've created new business models and we've restructured our businesses in such a way that we have five business groups, each focusing on separate segments of the market. And each of the five business groups is a mini bank on its own. So we are ready to take on any of the new players coming up in their own niche markets. Because what we have is a mini bank that is top in each line of business. You're talking about being the strongest bank in Nigeria at this point in time, and we started to see strength filtering through mergers and acquisition activity is the name of the game, as I alluded to, but it's not being reflected in the share price. Banks are trading to a significant discount to book value. Why is this occurring? And I know that it's um, been a very big issue as well on the first bank of Nigeria share price too. Yeah, what we've found out is that Nigeria is not isolated from the happenings in the global economy, and everybody is having its own share. It is true that Nigerian banks are trading at less than one price to book, which is below what it should be in the international market, even in West Africa. However, the good news is that as banks restructure and as we consolidate and strengthen the position, a first bank, for example, is on course. In the first half of the year, we had a profit before tax of 35 billion naira. We are expected and scheduled to release our Q3 results in the next few weeks. And it is interesting to note that we are on course to deliver superior returns at the end of the day to shareholders because we are on course. We've also restructured our businesses and modernized our processes by, in the past one year, we've created a central processing center. And as I speak today, we have 15 processes already on the CPC, including account opening, and more processes have been added on. We fine-tuned our, our, our contact center now that you have a 24-7 running contact center, anything happens in the middle of the night, you want to know your balance, you want to do transaction, you call the contact center, and it's great. So with these things going on, we don't see any reason why our customers should be afraid of the emerging banks coming out of the consolidation. And we are ready to defend that territory. With regards to per capita GDP in the country, we were looking at around $309 in 2001. We're sitting at $1,500 today. This is increasing dramatically. There's obviously uh, a lot of money that is uh, around in Nigeria right now, also a lot of unbanked people. Uh, I can see that you're trying to increase your, your customer base. What kind of risks are included in all of this? Because non-performing loans are still much higher than what we see, for example, here in South Africa. I know that uh, for First Bank Nigeria, you're looking at around 4.6% of NPLs. Now, Let's look at it in the Nigerian perspective. What we have is an economy that is roaring to grow. At 7% GDP growth rate without infrastructures, you can imagine what the Nigerian economy will be when the infrastructure issues are dealt with. Now, at First Bank, we are poised to take advantage of this situation in helping to deepen the market. We've created a business unit that will deal with the small and medium scale businesses, and we expect that. This will enable us to serve that segment of the market with mobile telephone banking also and mobile payments. We have signed agreements with the major telcos to provide mobile payment solutions. And that will ensure that we reach every nook and corner of Nigeria, provide good quality banking services to them, and also give them access 
to good credit at cheap rates. That is the engine room of the Nigerian economy. And as you do that, you build capacity. We are also at the institutional level funding the financing of infrastructure development projects, including power and roads. When you have a combination of all these things coming on stream and the people being empowered with good credit facilities and good banking as we are taking to them as a first bank, you only have a Nigerian economy growing faster that is being projected. With regards to your share price once again, we know that a lot of companies have embarked on share buybacks. Is this an, uh, an option for you down the line? I know that in Nigeria it's not really uh, something that uh, a lot of companies embark on, but it is a global trend. Now, at this point in time, the focus for First Bank is to first and foremost make the bank a very profitable bank. And if you look at the kind of things we've done, the CPC, uh, the CPC, the contact center, these things have reduced our cost income ratio to about 50% uh, uh, 50, uh, 50 today. Now, when your share price is good and when the returns are also good to investors, you don't want to bother yourself about who holds your stock. And at that point in time, it becomes attractive for, for investors. At that point in time, we also then decide whether we want to take the share buyback option, which on its own is not a bad thing to do. But first and foremost, make the institution profitable, make it attractive for investors, and then leave that issue to be determined at the appropriate time.